Welcome to EnviroTube. This is part two of the induction series where we essentially save a wild hive. This wild hive was in a position it had to be moved. We thought, well, while we're moving it, why not create a new hive? Part two is going to give you the nitty gritty. Induction is how you create a, a new hive, from, especially from a wild hive. It's a slow process, it might take six months, it might take a year, it might take two years. It's really up to the bees. The whole point of induction is that you put an empty hive in a position where the bees have to fly through it. We're going to show you the sort of steps you have to take to make sure this is successful. You have to have perspex so you can actually look in and see what's going on. You also have to have a hole in your connecting pipe. That's really important. What, what I'm doing in this whole thing is just setting up a viewing option because the key part to an induction is knowing when your new queen starts laying eggs in the uh, new box. If you don't have the option to see what's happening in your artificial hive, then you're not in a position to know that eggs are starting to be laid. If you don't know that, what happens is the original queen will attack that queen. She doesn't mind a new hive being set up at first, but once it's right next and it's connected, then she gets really upset about the whole thing. She'll come in and kill the queen. So a lot of people do an induction, say it didn't work. Very good chance it did work, but because they weren't checking, uh, the new queen started laying the brood, the old queen came in, killed it, bang. Okay, so I'm getting close to being assembling the whole of the oath box. So I've got my viewing thing. Just a sec, I'm going to get the, the lid. I have my lid. This is going to sit over here and I'm going to tape, just tape this down. Tape that down and then that. Now this is my new oath box and so what I'll be able to do is uh, every month or so I'm going to lift this up, have a little look. Is anything happening in there? Nothing's happening, I just put it back. One of the things that makes an induction work really well, but it's hard for uh, everyone to do, is to actually have a hive that used to be used by uh, Tetragonula. So if you have a look at this, you can actually see this is an old hive, which means that it's got all the old resins and the smells. The bees are, are going to be instantly happy with this space. It makes it much more likely that they're going to colonize. To make sure light doesn't get in, because the bees don't like the light, I've sealed it with black tape. Now, if you look at this hive now, we have, this is the part that's going to be connected to the wild hive. So the bees fly in through here, and out through there. Basically, it's like you're forcing them to fly through it. They have no choice. If they're gonna leave their wild hive, they must fly through this hive. Thanks for watching EnviroTube. Part two, couldn't squeeze it all in. We've got to do a part three for you. So look forward to seeing you and you're gonna see something really special in part three.